Hey everybody, it's Rebecca with r, &R Acres again. Welcome back. And I just wanted to show you a new kind of toy that we got for beekeeping. And this one is to help with the Varroa mite check. If you had bees for any length of time, you know Varroa destructor is a big issue. It carries so many diseases. It's really bad for the bees. And as a beekeeper, we try to monitor it to make sure that we're in, if we need to treat or not. You don't want to treat aimlessly, uh, but you want to see if you need to treat. And so the previous ways is a sugar dust roll where you can dust the bees off. And unfortunately in the humidity here in South Carolina, that's not effective. The other option that we've been doing is an alcohol wash where we put alcohol in here, push bees in here, shake them up, count the mites. Unfortunately, there's a loss of bees with that and that's never fun. What I received recently is this uh, CO2 injector where we can anesthetize the bees, kind of knock them out a little bit, gently shake them, and then we can get our varroa mite count that way and then we just dispose of the varroa mite since they're only knocked out as well. So I wanted to go over how to use this today and see how we do with it. This is the CO in injector from uh, Varroa Easy Check. And you're gonna get it. And it does not come with a cartridge, a CO2 cartridge. And this is something that I had a couple mix ups with. You need the 16 gram screw tip CO2 injector. That's very important. The little nozzle applicator screws right in easy peasy lemon squeezy here we go okay that's in nice and snug the bottom here opens up there we go the co2 injector screws in tightly now definitely get it in there nice and tight there we go we should be able to screw this on And we're good. That's all there is, a little puff. And that's all there is. So this is now ready to work. I have my Roa Easy Check. I have my covers for it so that we're good to go. And then I have a measuring cup so I can get the correct amount of bees going. My smoker's ready. So I'm ready to do this. And the idea is we're gonna collect about 300 bees. It's about a half a cup. And we're going to knock them out a little bit, be gentle with them. And then we'll be able to uh, Hopefully, count to see if I have any Varroa ready. And to see if we need to treat. This is part of our monthly check program. Depending on how many hives you have, if you have less than 10 hives or so, go ahead and test them all and only treat the ones that are needed. If you have a lot of hives, try to do up to 10, maybe 10 in a yard and go from there. All right. Now let's gonna check this hive here. I got my smoker. Distract my bees a little bit. And, hi girls. Hi sweethearts. All right. Give you a, I know. It's a very warm, sunny day here in South Carolina. There we go. Lots of honey frames. They got some stores going on, that's easy enough. Alright, let's get some more bees. And hey girls. One of the things I'm looking at my bees is I'm looking for any deformed wings. I'm looking if I can see any Varroa, because technically you can see that. Making sure I've got cute fuzzy bees. That's what we're looking for. Okay, I've got a nice brood frame here. I'm checking for my queen. Oh, and there's my queen. This is why you always check first. Here she is. And so we're gonna choose a different frame because we don't want to accidentally get mama in our sample test. Even though this does not kill them, eh, she doesn't really want to shake. One of those things. All right, we've got a brood frame here. And again, I'm gonna look for mama. I know I just saw her in our previous frame, so we should be good, but it doesn't hurt. 
All right. So now, be as gentle as I can and try to scrape up some bees. And they have words for me about this, so that's okay. Kind of gently scrub it up, get a whole bunch in there. Then I'm gonna put them in there. And I'm gonna quickly cover my very easy check upside down like that. It locks them in. Now I'm gonna put my frame back together because they were not happy with me with that. Cover my box up. There we go. So that they feel a little better. Okay, now I have my sampling of bees. My basket is upside down. I'm going to put my CO2 injector in one of the holes of the Varroa Easy Check. And I do not want to spray directly at the bees. And I'm going to count to 10 when I do it. I'm going to knock them down a little bit. That way I'm not hitting them. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to close it up. <laughs> yes, little girl. Okay, I'm going to wait a moment. Here we go. About 10 seconds or so, my bees have fallen to the bottom. They're kind of quiet now. And then I'm going to gently, about 15 seconds, give this a shake. All right, so we're shaking the bees gently here. And then we are going to take there are 300 bees and divide it by the number of mice that we find and times that by 100. Three to 5% means we need to treat. All right, and it's been about that long now. And so, I'm gonna unscrew. <laughs> My bees are already waking up from their anesthesia little knockout here. There we go. And we're looking pretty good. I see one down there at the bottom and one I can handle. All right, that's below treatment threshold. So we're doing pretty good. I have been monitoring this colony and it did get treated last month. So I'm not really surprised, but I'm happy about what we found. And then I take my bees and put them back in their box so they can recover. And here they are already moving back around, ready to play for the day. Huh, girls? Sorry about the little wake-up call there. All right, y'all, please remember to subscribe to us on social media, and hopefully you have success and you like using the Varroa injector, uh, CO2 injector here from Varroa's Easy Check. And so far, it seems to be working pretty good, and we're excited to try it, and it means we have less bees we have to put down for the health of the colonies. So I'm kind of liking that. All right, thank you again. Subscribe, please.